Scorpios, welcome to your July 2020 reading. This is not going to resonate with every Scorpio out there. Some parts may resonate, other parts may not. Take what you like and leave the rest. I am Sunshine from Sunshine to Row. It has been a minute. I didn't get a chance to do your June reading, but I'm doing your July reading. And baby, what can I say but that a sister is back. Okay. Okay, we're going to start off with your oracle readings. Then I'm going to do a Celtic cross spread in which I have clarified each card. And then we're going to take a look at what I see or forecast for the month of July for you, okay? But we have some oracle cards. And the first one comes from the teachings of Abraham Hicks. Some of you are familiar with that. The teachings of Abraham Hicks. They're called well-being cards. And it asks... I am learning that all problems, or it doesn't ask, it says, I am learning that all problems resolve themselves. I am learning that all problems resolve themselves. And it says here, it says, when you have a problem, a desire exudes forth from you and source hears it and answers it immediately. Once you remove your attention from the problem, then you allow the solution. Give birth to the question and then let it go and allow the answer to flow. So all problems resolve themselves. So those of you who have uh, been going through some things right now and, and you are troubled, just know that all problems resolve themselves, all of them. Okay, now your life purpose cards are very interesting, Scorpio. Your first life purpose card is infinite abundance, infinite abundance. You're the first sign that I've pulled this card for, I believe. Somebody correct me if you've seen this card before in one of the readings. But it says for your life purpose, you're fully supported as you devote yourself to your life's purpose. That could be anything. That could be getting a job. That could be... Um, raising some children, that could be painting, that could be music, that could be rapping, that could be um, starting a business. Whatever you feel like God is telling you to do right now, whether it's parenting, whether it is being somebody's good friend, taking care of your mother, if it's artistic, it's saying you're supported right now. All problems resolve themselves and you are being supported as you devote yourself to what you feel needs to be done in your life right now. However, one of the things that the cards are admonishing you to do is to read more books. I feel like books are going to be preparing you for July for whatever is coming next. There's just something you need to study and something you need to find out more information about. But it says here, you connect to your life's purpose through your involvement with books. You connect to your life's purpose through your involvement of books. The next soul truth card is, am I apologizing for my truth? Ooh, that's deep. It says, am I apologizing for my truth? What part of you is apologizing for your truth and why? Today, be proud of your truth. See? Today, be proud of your truth. Catch yourself when you want to apologize or withhold parts of it. You never know whose life you will change when you are brave enough to speak it. Be the lighthouse that shines on the courage that lives in all of us. This will give others permissions to speak their own truth. There is room for all of us. Courage is contagious. Courage is contagious. And those are your oracles. I hope you got a lot out of that. I liked, I'm learning that all problems resolve themselves. And I like the fact that you're being supported for your purpose. And the oracle is saying, you know, it's time to research. It's time to look into some books. And while you are on this path, do not apologize for your truth. Do not apologize for your truth. Excuse me. So Scorpios, we're going to get into the Celtic cross here. But first, I pulled your romance angel cards. And for half of you, the romance angel card is this could be the one. Ooh. 
All right, all right, this could be the one. So some of you are seeing someone that could be the one. Okay, let's be clear, because sometimes we need a little bit of clarity. It says you've already met the romantic partner you seek. You've already met this person, right? And they want you to also know that all problems resolve themselves as you've met this person. And if this is your focus right now, if you feel like your life purpose and call involves this person that you're involved with, it says that you are fully supported. You are fully supported. You may need to read some books about relationships or about men or about women. And, and as you read these books and find out more information, don't apologize for it. But this could be the one that some of you are seeing. And the other group of you got very soon. So some of you are single, some of you are in relationships. So some of you got the card very soon. And I look at that maybe a little bit like as a three of wands. And it says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. In other words, the planets are doing something that could be attracting love now. But the only thing that's blocking it is you like really being earnest about what you want. You know, you have to tell the universe what you, I really want a mate and I want one now. All right. It says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. Those of you who are single. But as I look at the spread, this Celtic cross here, and I have um, two or three cards to clarify the cards. I see here um, emotional intelligence. That's what's really standing out here. Emotional intelligence, Scorpio, is what I see you operating under in the month of July. And emotional intelli intelligence is the ability to identify and manage your own emotions here. And it's the ability to identify and manage the emotions of others, especially those in your environment, like your significant other. You see how the King of Cups is pouring out the nonsense. This is a very emotional card, but he's pouring out the nonsense. But look at the water. Just like being at the water soothes and calms the emotions, as a water sign, you soothe and calm the emotions of others without you even knowing it. I see you managing your emotions in a way that relieves stress and diffuses conflict, but I also see you managing the emotions of your significant other or other people in your environment by, um, in a way that relieves stress and diffuses conflict. In other words, somebody may be more emotionally stable in July because of your emotional intelligence. Your lover, for instance, may experience higher levels of emotional stability because you could be helping them see things in a more, in a way, in a new way, in a way that calms and soothes them. Okay. See, I feel like you're going to be in emotional control because of your emotional intelligence and you're going to be managing the emotions of your significant others and people in your environment. Whatever is happening on the surface, okay, whatever is happening on the surface of your relationship, Scorpio, you best believe that you are the current that is controlling the emotional environment of this union. See, the tarot cards tell you about what is hidden, what's underneath the current. And some of you are simply <laughs> controlling the emotions of your lover, period. Some of you are literally controlling the emotions of your lover. Okay, we have, by, by the way, we have Scorpio and Cancer here. You may be a Scorpio Cancer match. This is Sun and Scorpio. Some of you are controlling the emotions of your lover. You're doing things to make them fall in love with you and find you irresistible. And, you know, a lot of that has to do with Pluto, 
too, because Pluto is the planet of magnetism. So it gives you this, this magnetism that people find very alluring. Some people say that the Scorpio stings people with their stare because it often leaves people immobilized and mesmerized. So you're doing things, you're doing things, some people would call it manipulation, but that Mars energy just causes you to win when you are when you see a target that you want you must win it and so you are emotionally controlling this person's or your significant others or this person that you want's emotions right now making them fall in love with you and find you irresistible Whatever it is that you're doing, it's working because you have the six of cups and the three of cups. Somebody feels like the two of you were made for each other. There is a connection that's easy and sweet. There's a lot of laughter here. There's friendships. There's friends and lovers. You guys could have known each other from the past or you just feel like you've known this person your whole life, or it's just really easy. It's a soulmate connection, and it's very easy. And there could be children involved, okay? This is a Cancer and Scorpio combination, but we also have a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn here with the King of Cups um, crowning the reading. You see me in my sophisticated dress drinking water out of the Fanta bottle. I tell you the truth, it is. So anyway, you could be with a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Many of you are involved. This is definitely a Taurus, so look at that. Look at that bull there. Many of you are involved with Earth signs right now. But the King of Pentacles could also represent a man or a woman who is just successful, like a successful entrepreneur or someone who is um, really successful in their career. Some of you could be involved or have like a soulmate connection with this Six of Cups here. Some of you could have a soulmate connection, be in a secure relationship with someone who feels like a soulmate in the month of July. This person here, this King of Pentacles, for those of you that this resonates with, this person is ambitious. They have money. They're successful. This person wants a long-term relationship with you. They're in this relationship, this connection for the long haul. So, Okay, so here we have a Scorpio with a Taurus, a Scorpio with a Capricorn, or a Scorpio with a Virgo. So this person definitely is in this for the long haul for you. I also see celebrations for you, Scorpio. Celebrations, family gatherings, family get-togethers. I see parties. I see children there. I see your overall feeling of joy and serenity. I see joy in your soul okay that's at the heart of the reading so what's crowning it is the king of pentacles here and the king of pentacles like i said may be someone that you are um, romantically involved with if not then this could represent a more established man or woman who will play a significant role in your career okay the king of coins can also represent um, career and business success for you in the month of july you may experience some type of significant career advancement if you're not an entrepreneur. Okay, what's manifesting is the Judgment card, the Four of Swords with the Strength card. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo or Leo is coming into your life. That's what's manifesting for some of you. Okay. But uh, judgment with the Four of Swords is manifesting with the Strength card. You may be making some type of decisions that's, um, that you might be making decisions that are best for your mental health. Some of you could be going into surgery with the Four of Swords here. Others of you with the Strength card here could just be working on your body, working out, getting strong, eating right, working out, d disciplining yourself. And I see you getting amazing results. Like some of you are really going to lose a lot of weight here. Others of you are making the decision to be single, to recuperate, to heal, to get stronger. And you've made the choice that before you get involved with someone, you're going to get yourself together. Others of you have already done that. 
you've already gotten yourself together and now you're in love or you will be falling in love. All right. You're going to be with the eight of coins here in the near future. You're going to be building something solid with the one that you love. The eight of pentacles we have is also the sun in Virgo. So we see a Scorpio here with the Virgo. A Virgo could be in your future. You could have be a couple, a Scorpio and a Virgo together. The future shows a Virgo and a Scorpio together. But symbolically, if you're not a Virgo um, and you're another sign, the Eight of Pentacles, which is Sun and Virgo, and we have the Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces card, you could be involved with any water sign as well. But this is the Scorpio card coming in with this, uh, this King of Cups coming in with the Eight of Pentacles is basically saying that you are going to be in love and you're going to be working, um, handling your business at the same time. See, emotional intelligence again. You're going to be able to be in love and handle your business. See, the near future is the eight of pentacles. So you're going to be working hard to improve your skills and become a master at what you do. You could have recently changed work education or financial circumstances and now you're going to be applying sheer determination and concentration to the mastery of some new skill that you're learning you're going to be diligent and hard working look at that you're going to be diligent and hard working and you're going to be applying yourself fully to whatever is at the center of your attention and as you do this task over and over and over you work your way towards mastery of your craft and then you create success so i see a lot of cards here for july that is talking about work career and business advancements very strong themes in your reading you might want to listen to some astrologers to find out what's going on in the planets that's causing such a strong work you know career reading although i see love here too i just feel that you're going to have the emotional intelligence to do both of them and do them right so i see some travel for you too scorpio I see you, you could be traveling alone or you could be traveling with um, a significant other here, right? But I definitely see traveling here for some of you and you're going to have the means and the money to go to maybe some exotic places or some really nice places here in the month of July. Now your final cards are the wonderful Ace of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles. So there is going to be a really huge offer that's going to come in to you. All right. Look at how he's extending this pentacle out to someone. There's going to be a really huge offer that is going to come to you. Now it could be in love because we remember we saw the love cards here with the king of pentacles crowning it so and that's stability in a relationship that's security in a relationship so you could be getting a very big offer like somebody could ask you to um easily move in with them easily somebody could ask you to move in with them somebody could ask you to marry them there's a real big offer that's slowly coming in okay or this could be in business or in career. Someone may ask you, may give you a job offer or you might get a new promotion or something like that. Now, it may be slow because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight. It may be slow coming in for some of you. Like July might be the month of doing foundational work for you. Like maybe in July you are applying for jobs. And then you get the interview, but then you go to another interview. So you don't quite have the offer because the Knight of Pentacles is slow moving, but it definitely is a huge offer. And it's a royal offer too. Some of you are going to be getting a new job offer. Okay. And others of you are going to be getting offers as it relates to love. All right. So that's what I have for you 
for the month of July, okay? But remember, whoever you're dealing with, Scorpios, this could be the one. There's a very special union that's taking place right now between you and someone else, for those of you that that resonates. And those of you who are single, very soon is your card, and it says clearly decide what you want so that it will come to you, all right? So those are the cards that we have for December. Now, let's take a look at your person. Let's take a look at your person. How is your person viewing you? What is your person? Okay, so we are going to take a look at... First line of question is... Where is this, oops, where is this relationship going? Okay, where is this relationship going? Is there someone else that you need to be concerned about? All right, because you know the cards tell you what's hidden. Is there someone else that you need to be concerned about? If so, where is it going with them? All right, how do they really feel about you? Are they here to stay or are they here to play? How do they really feel about you? What are their next actions going to be? And the outcome. And how does your person view you? Okay. Your person views you as somebody that is helping them not be, like there's an end to them being single and that it was a real big burden on them to be single. So your person is viewing you as somebody that prevents, that keeps them from being single. But also how your person is viewing you is somebody who they have been waiting for, who they are ready to make some type of sincere offer to. We have the three of wands, the four of, of wands, and the page of pentacles. So they've been waiting to offer you a higher level of commitment. And it looks like in the month of July, some of you may get this some higher level of commitment or some type of offer of maybe can we go together, can we get married, can we um, try to make this work. So let's look at where this is going though, okay? Because we don't know where it's going. We know where it is now, but where is it going? And we also are going to look at, I wrote this down, um, where is this relationship going? Is there someone else that you need to be concerned about? If so, what's going on with them? How do they really feel about you? What are their next actions are going to be? And the outcome. All right, Scorpios, thank you so much for participating and watching your reading. I love you so much. If you want the extended, it would be the extended to this video. There's a link that's going to be in the description box and at the top of the comment section. It's going to say, click below for the Scorpio extended video, July 2020. And then it'll take you to Vimeo where you can purchase through PayPal or through your Visa check card. Or it'll take you to my website where you can purchase through, I don't know. I need to find that out. I do believe you can purchase through PayPal. Somebody let me know, okay? All right. Also, if you want a reading, I'm doing readings too. You just go to sunshinetarot.net and pay the fee and sign up and you'll get your reading sometimes near the due date, sometimes near it, like maybe three days, four days later, but you'll get it, okay? All right. Otherwise, I'll just give you your money back. So thank you all for watching. And Scorpios, you came in number two. I appreciate that. And I love you and God bless.